Preston Studios was honored and pleased to celebrate its 30th anniversary with a month-long exhibit at the Brevard Museum of Art and Science in Melbourne, Florida. The show comprised primarily large-scale photography of the many custom installations created over the past three decades. Also included were a few examples of the more than 150 stained glass lamps created in new original designs that were supplied by various collectors. This same month saw the completion and installation of more than 12 works in a chateau-styled residence in Satellite Beach, Florida. Preston Studios worked with Liz Harris of Designers West Interiors on this project. The October 20th opening of the exhibit was well attended by collectors, art enthusiasts, as well as a number of design collectors, including Fred Rogers from Orlando, formerly of Disney Design. Preston Studios worked with Fred Rogers on a number of projects, including the chapel for Give Kids the World in Kissimmee, Florida. Preston Studios created five large works for this chapel, which included interpretations of nature and the four seasons. Of the projects that Preston Studios worked with Fred Rogers, one of the most extensive was the Nunes residence in Islesworth, Florida. This particular piece is a cell from the movie Sleeping Beauty. And the studio worked to include natural stones and gems within the piece itself. In 1990, Preston Studios worked with the Southeastern Builders Conference to produce two large-scale works, working with Betsy Godfrey Interiors and Tech Homes. These two pieces were abstract and geometric, and complemented the clerestory windows in the master bath. Part of the history of Preston Studios has been working with corporate land developers. The Hudson Bay Company, developer of the 2,000-acre Hunter's Green Project in Tampa, Florida, employed Preston Studios to create five four-foot by six-foot works depicting native flora and fauna found on the property. These works were made into prints which served corporate imaging and advertising for many years. Today these works can still be seen in the golf club, health club, and community room in Hunter's Green. But what Preston Studios is most noted for is private residential entrances. Many of them can be seen throughout Central Florida, including this one on Lansing Island.